Welcome to Puy Vidal, a 13th century chateau nestled in the heart of the Charente. Join my mother, my father, my sister, my fiance, and I, an American family, as we move from New York City to California to the southwest of France. This is Dreaming of a Chateau. Hello everyone. Today's video is a very special video. It is dedicated to a woman named Mary. Mary, if you're watching, hello, this is for you. Mary requested to be able to see Chateau life from morning, noon, and night. So the four of us are recording everything that happens in our day today, Friday, and we have a bunch of exciting things on today, so it's a great day to do this. We have a trench being dug, we have beautiful Renaissance cabinets being delivered from Emmaus, and we have our French teacher, Corinne, and her husband, Manuel, coming to visit us for coffee and see the chateau for the first time. And she's Carolina's French teacher, soon to be my mother and sister's French teacher as well. So we have a lot of wonderful things, hopefully ending with a nice dinner as it's Friday night and the four of us will sit down and relax. And we hope that you enjoy this little slice of Chateau life for one full day. Good morning, Mary. <laughs> We're trying to fill your request of filming from morning to night. So this is it. It's like 9 a.m. No, 8 a.m. Today's a big day because we're getting doing the trench. Let me show you the view of the chateau. So this is my window. That goes to a hallway where Penelope is. And I left my window open because I it a little bit of fresh air. Normally, if it's colder, I'll close not only the window, but the shutter out here. This is the English garden. There's the fields beyond, and they've planted them. They tilled them and planted them. And now little sprouts are coming out. And beyond that, you might hear a little bit of the traffic of the highway, mostly earlier, like 5 a.m. So this is my view of the morning. I don't know if you can see those little birds. Very cloudy morning. It just makes me feel a bit more ready for the day, even if I'm not truly. But if I put on my face, at least a little bit, I feel ready for anything. Anyone can come over, anyone can, anything can happen, and I don't feel like I'm caught unawares. And the last thing we're able to do here in the chateau is really 
count on the fact that no one will show up for an entire day because inevitably someone does. Something happens and we need help, or we get some visitor, or I see the post office lady. Something happens that it's very hard to have a full day of no contact with the outside world because it's a chateau and it's big and it's a community and there's a lot of people moving in and out of it all the time. The only day might be a holiday that we're actually truly safe, but most of the other days I put my face on. There they are. The troops have arrived. So we are so excited about this work finally happening because basically the very first moment we got here, we started talking about fiber because it was available in our region from even before we arrived. And um, so the moment we got here, we started thinking about how to have it installed because it's quite a long run from the street to the chateau especially to the chateau in the rooms where we'd like fiber to be the most so Monsieur Gonte and I and Carolina all started talking about where to run this fiber cable and we very quickly got to the conclusion that we'd have to bury the line it's going to be a huge eyesore if it runs along the length of the facade in any visible area so we started talking about digging a trench to bury that cable. Then we started to talk about adding other cables so that we can actually cover the internet with, sorry, so that we can cover the chateau with internet. Now, after two months of investigating with our internet provider, Araj, it seems like we're not able to get more than one line from the street to the chateau because that's how many lines they've designated for this area. Yeah. So now we're on a, another long six month journey to see about antenna solutions for Wi-Fi. But in the meantime, we've, now that we know that we're building a trench, we've started talking with our electrician plumber, Monsieur Bo, about garden lighting so that eventually we can have beautiful lanterns and spotlights and tree lights and little twinkle lights and be like a little mini Versailles one day, <laughs> slowly. Um, but that requires running new electrics because all the garden electrics are broken and flooded and and they not don't work. they're not energy efficient as they're well. Also yeah. Not energy yeah. Efficient. yeah, yeah. So we'd love to hook it up to solar even one day. But for the time being, since we got electric cars, we're having the garage have its own separate power source from the street. And now we're going to run that power source along the length of the trench as well. And then from there, run it out into the garden, little by little. So really today we're killing a lot of birds with one stone. Because Ooh, they're all the way over here. We're, di we're burying fiber cables and electric cables. Yeah. excited we're finally getting this done it's been about two months of conversation right with the yeah workers. yeah um, but in that that's one of the things we found out slowly have realized the length of time things get required to get done here in France people are very busy in the summertime the workers it seems like everyone does projects in the summertime so if any of these workers are remotely good they're gonna be busy for weeks yeah. So we, we got lucky because our, our gardener Pascal and his son-in-law um, have the machinery, know how to do the work, and we got several quotes, and some quotes were very expensive, I think, because we are a chateau. And then they said, you know, we could do it for a much better price, and we can do it a lot faster than the other guys can do it. So, they're yeah. here. Um, they gave us a quote about two weeks ago? Two weeks? Two and a half weeks ago? Yeah, and uh, three here. weeks. Yeah, and I'm he's just basically impressed. coming off his day job. He's coming off his day job um, where he digs a huge trench in Canal Maritime. 
and the great thing about him, he's a young guy. He's really cool. He's he's about our age, and he looks very ambitious. And it's like all good work. So yeah. here he is. Yeah, we're so thrilled. Oh, someone's calling. Every time he calls me, he's shouting like that because he's on a tractor. He's, he's like, also my family. Probably, he's probably deaf. So yes, we have been pretty astonished how even when we're completely ready to get work done, it takes quite a long time to even get someone to give us a quote. Yeah. This little beauty is Carolina's gift to the household. This is one of our first company purchases for guests, for the bed and breakfast, for the work jobs, but we decided it was crucial to order this now so we could caffeinate ourselves to do all of this work. <laughs> <laughs> We're basically in the middle of nowhere as far as artisanal coffee shops are concerned at least compared to New York City, where we were spoiled for choice, and every two meters there was a, an incredible coffee shop. And here we were feeling super under-caffeinated for weeks and weeks and weeks. And so we said, since we're gonna get something really nice for guests, let's get it early, let's learn how to use it, let's use it on all of our family and friends this summer and have something really great available. And thank God that we did, because we're actually focusing now with the correct levels of caffeine <laughs> that we require. Good morning. It's the beginning of a day in the life for me. I've already heard some people downstairs talking to the dog, so I'm definitely not the first one up. I had a bit of a late night last night getting some work finished, so I'm a little bit late this morning. Um... But that's okay here. <laughs> I'm going to go get ready and show you my room and hopefully get a cup of coffee as soon as possible. Hi, so I'm all ready for the day. Just got dressed, put some makeup on. Um, I'm ready to finally have that coffee. Just going to show you my room really quickly. It's a mess, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm currently sleeping with my mattress on the floor because we got some Emma mattresses to test out, but we didn't have bases for them yet, and the bases were delayed in shipment. Um, we think it's a little harder to ship them because they can't compress down. This is my bathroom. It's the most modern one that's in use right now. Um, it's quite comfortable, but as you can probably see, my whole room isn't that... Chateau-y. I'm still living out of suitcases because there isn't a ton of storage. So this is where my room is located in the chateau. I'm in the west wing. So that door right there goes down to mama's room. Um, this is the other modern bedroom that has some of the old mattresses being used, um, well just being kept here. And then down this way is a staircase that I like to use uh, because that means I don't have to go through my mom's room and disrupt her. So this is a pretty actually dangerous staircase um, that Carolina has fallen down once. Um, so that's why it's very important to keep the lights on. And I end up being deposited down here in the tech room which then, which is also tech room, which is also the laundry room through that door. And then right here is the billiard room. So this is how I get to the main chateau every day and multiple times a day. So my room is actually quite far from the kitchen. Oh, look, people working and puppies. Hi, hi. Oh, have you been sad? You've been sad? Have I not been around to keep you company? Yes. So down that way is the kitchen and I'm gonna grab some coffee, show you the nice coffee maker because I'm sure everyone has and we need four points of view on it. Yes. We're editing a photo hey, down. and... Down. Good morning. Bonjour. How are you? Bonjour from Troubadour. Bonjour <laughs> Troubadour. 
I made myself a macchiato by mistake and it's quite good. Ooh. Yes, I was showing Mary how we do coffee every morning and how we get our cups. Very nice. But I filmed it in the wrong direction, so I'm going to have to film it again. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mama likes to film like this. Uh, and then it doesn't quite match like this. <laughs> So we have lots of wonderful footage that's like this, unfortunately. Uh-uh. No. Okay, put it up. Puppy uh -oh. moment. No, no, no. Well, good morning, precious. Yes, this is Pisco. Pisco is a drink in the Indian regions of Chile and Peru. And it's actually really delicious. And they make Pisco sour. So I'm not sure why they named her Pisco. I think they were drinking Pisco at the time. Here are the, the trench being dug up. Oh, wow. They've made a lot of progress. Look at that. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to be taking you to open shutters. I don't know how exciting this will be, but because we're having guests, we don't always open the shutters. Um, every morning, we'll just open them. If we're gonna be in the room, it takes a lot of time and space, so I'll be taking you through the chateau. Right now, I am in the dining room. You can see behind me. We've been buying different things from Bricons, and the Jura machine is cleaning. So, um, look at this beautiful painting, and the ceiling i'll show you more there's beautiful ceilings they're just kind of magical and i don't know i love every part of this place even when it has streaks of water coming down all right so i have a very hard time ta doing this i've never filmed before especially not myself and mm, looking at you like people is hard because I, I'm seeing me. So let me turn it around and then I can show you the chateau and what I see. Okay, so this is the room I was telling you about and look at this ceilings. Aren't they beautiful? This is something we normally don't film probably. And they have just spaced them out two usually and it just gives it this details of love and thoughtfulness i think i paint and i love color and i'm a, not a very detailed person but i do like uh, i don't know shows of affection and that's what they feel like to me so off we go to open shutters. This is the grand salon and look at this in the middle of the day. This is what it's like. So completely dark. I can hear Julia outside. Usually we remove this bars. Ah, there it is. Did you see that dog flying by? And all of a sudden we have more light in this room. I'll open the second one. And what a difference one window makes that's open. There it is. So these are internal shutters. And the dog's running. There's Carolina playing with the dog. Yeah. <laughs> so this is part of our ritual. So this is after all the shutters are open. This is just the window. And look at the difference. Even on a cloudy day, we have this beautiful view. Mm -hmm. Look at the molding in the ceiling. And the 
entryway. And we hear a dog. So I'm gonna go proceed to open the rest of the shutters, but I won't put you through it again. This is our sitting area. I come here and I write when I want to get inspired. And I open that door and this door if it's hot, but right now it's not, so I'll leave it like this, okay? The difference between one room lit and the other one with the shutters closed kind of reminds me of how when you get an idea or you feel better about things, how much your perspective changes as soon as you open a window. This is one of the first scenes that I saw looking out of the window. When we first came here, the owners treated us to lunch when we came to visit and we sat down for quite a festive lunch and we were just seeing it. We had bid on it, but we certainly hadn't put anything down. And I sat and looked in the dining room to the fields, but I was seeing this little birds dancing outside my window. It was just magical. I would kind of lose track of the conversation because I'd be looking at them. It's, there's something really magical about telling the story and sharing it with people because you enjoy it more. And I think that's the whole idea of opening it up to guests because you see it through their eyes. And it's just even more beautiful than just keeping it to yourself. Here are the roses. So tell me, there's lights happening, being installed, fiber, and the delivery of Renaissance cabinets. So we have all the gamuts of time and, and we have modernity. Colleen and Manuel coming. Who are they? They're Carolina's French teacher and her partner, and hopefully soon to be Mama and Penelope's French teacher as well and they have never seen the chateau before so they're gonna come and see it and they've been hearing all about it from carolina on her twice a week french classes and we're very excited to get to know them a little bit better here i'm gonna go check on the progress of the trench from above and now they're covering it it's going very quickly it's fantastic really going so much better than I thought it would. Three electrical lines, two green lines. Perfect. Hi. It's morning. I'm making breakfast, sort of. Morning emotional mm -hmm. sessions. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're reviewing past love. Our past relationships, broken hearts. My ex just got engaged. Uh, that moment comes in everyone's life. <laughs> If they're lucky enough to have exes. You know what? Finding out your ex just got engaged while you live in a chateau really takes the sting away. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. So I highly recommend it, you know. Everyone, she's single and ready to mingle. Look at this <laughs> lovely, <laughs> lovely force of nature. Yes. Troubadour, you look most like a troubadour in this room. Hey, Troubadour, do you want to perform our song together? Yeah? A trooby dooby doo. A trooby dooby doo. Dun 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 dun. A trooby dooby doo. A trooby dooby doo. Do 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 do. Oh, yeah. someone knows her song. She lies down for her song. She comes more when I sing the song than when I call her by name. Oh, that is the zooby dooby doo song as made famous in Mad Men. <laughs> also famous before that, but for our generation, Mad Men. we know it as the Mad Men song. Yeah. Isn't that right, Troubadour? Yeah, so how are they gonna transform this ditch into pipes that go along the wall and the electricity goes I don't up? Know. I really don't know. They yeah. talked about p poking the wall, but 
So they, I imagine they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to do it. I think Miss Ubo is going to do it. Miss Ubo showed up for like 30 minutes hey, baby to girl. check things. Baby girl. To the door. Stop it. Yeah, he's putting special sand there that protects go. things. Hey. Look who's back from French class. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, Where'd you go? Leclerc. Um, oh man, I forget everything after I come back from French class. Uh, C'est très occupé. No, it was very busy. Oh, um, Leclerc? Yeah, very, very busy. I managed Ooh, to find the wine that we like. Basket. Pinot de Chorante. Nice. Wait, they specialty. had Bois de Roland? They had Bois de Roland, but it's a 2018. And there were only six oh, bottles or four bottles God. less or five, and I bought them all. <gasps> I know. That's almost as good as going to Bordeaux. And then I bought the, these two, that there were only two or three of these left, um, 2016. So here's a little, a little like tip that someone at Leclerc told us was to look for the metal ones, the, the ones that have some metals and some stickers. Yeah. And and that if there are like three or four left on the shelf, get them because it's pro so someone's onto something. Yeah, that's true. Trois baguettes, trois, trois baguettes, s'il vous plaît. Trois dorés. There's three types of... Oh, yeah. I can barely... Oh, yeah, she's waiting for you. It was only 80 euro. Yeah, 60. Or was no. the other one 60? The other one was 60, which is insane. Look how beautiful this is. Yeah. Our more furnished, our more 
our furnished dining room looks so cool. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Wow, it really does look awesome. Now I just need to find something for this area and then something for this. And we then we mount the copper here. thing there. We just need a pump though. <clears throat> a big painting or a like sword thing or something like that. It's beautiful. I need a better um, oil too. The sun has finally come out. Carolina and I are here working on our oil painting retreat and all of the details. And Pisco is enjoying the sun while Troubadour is fast asleep. She loves sleeping in here with us. Yes. Kareen and Manu are gonna arrive pretty soon. And the trench is still digging away. Wow. Super cool. Gosh, Kareen should be here any minute. Um, but after this false start yesterday, uh, it's a little bit unclear if she's actually gonna come and we got the right day. Um, we're gonna have Aperol spritzes, I believe, probably in the courtyard because the front terrace is having the trench still built, well, dug up. Uh, let's go this way and see what the others are up to. It's the problem with getting up on time in the morning and then doing all these things during the day. Yeah, I get pretty tired around this time. Yeah, and then I don't really have like a normal lunch. I sort mm. of have a sandwich with just like a tiny bit of bread and some cheese and ham, which is like not the most satisfying. No. <sighs> I, I had some ham and bread as well, which is ridiculous how delicious it is, but doesn't always give you the most energy. Yeah, then you have those like carb dips. Yeah, it's just so easy. Here it just feels like it's the thing. Yes. Just, you feel this pressure. To be French? The French countryside <laughs> somehow. I think they're better at digesting it than we are or something. Something. Something's going on that's weird. Well, not digesting. Converting it into energy and a full day. <sighs> So did you get these at a Brocante? No, we got these at a very lovely linen store in Angoulême mm -hmm. where we went to test out sheets and we yeah. picked these up on the way. Oh, they're beautiful. Very springy. Oh, Mama, I thought they were very pink. Ooh. Oh no. Okay. Well, we can finally use the summer kitchen then. And we cannot be together. On ne peut pas être dans la cuisine ensemble. Because when I was, I was recovering the other day and he was cooking nicely for me, and he's like, Oh, you did it that way? Oh, you did it that way? Me say that. It's his art. Moi, je peux faire, je peux faire, je peux préparer qui sont vos pas sur cette table. So, yeah, the tools are like this at the end of the day. It's on I take pictures all the time. I show Sean because Sean, my son, is the opposite. I mean, it's a mess. The tools are still there. He loves the project. He does great things, but the cleaning up is. I've. I've changed a little bit. I've made a little effort. Manu is so. 
and it's it's cleaned up as it's going. Mm, it's like I don't I don't even know how you yeah, you manage. <laughs> <laughs> I truly think this place like makes people like fall through time and they just forget about time yeah and they just kind of stay and relax and I mean this is Carolina's French teacher and her husband and they kept looking and they live like 10 minutes from here and they kept looking and saying this is a very special place I'm so glad and we I with think the, the entire region is mm. special but they who were 10 minutes away thought this was special just a baby, and you're very embarrassing in front of guests. We have a lot of stuff to close. Yes, we do. No. You're going outside? Yeah. I think Julia has been obsessed with Chateau as long as I can remember. She's always wanted to live in France. She's always wanted to visit and understand the culture and understand the history. And it's something I've always really admired about her. But when she pitched living in a chateau <laughs> for the whole family, I mean, I was on board because, you know, it's a chateau and it's France, but that was never my dream. My dream was to live in a forest know how many people out there know there was a mini series called the tenth kingdom it's about a father and daughter who leave new york and explore nine kingdoms that the grim's fairy tales were based on it's one of julian my's favorite mini series ever and the first time i was walking through these groves i just took a second and I realized that I was walking through the enchanted forest in the 10th kingdom. I was in a fairy tale. So when she said, come and live with me in a chateau in France, I said, is there a forest nearby? And there is. Cheers. Cheers to a lovely evening with Kareen and Manu and to the trench being dug and to Aranj coming tomorrow. Actually, yes. Cheers to that. That's huge. I did not know internet connection can take this long. But then again, we've never lived in a chateau. It's been a long day and uh, we're done. We hope we can put something together that's very likable to all of you, and especially you, Mary, who requested this. We think that's a great idea, even though we probably won't be able to do it very often, if at all. But it's been a lot of fun and it's been fun thinking about one specific person who reached out to us and made us very happy, and people often do with their comments. They really touch our heart hearts. So, bon nuit. Bon nuit. Here we are walking at midnight, having to need it too close the gate because of a circuit breaker. Wow. <laughs> This has been a very, very full day. It was quite successful though. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Please, somebody put this in. I can't bend. I don't bend that direction anymore at this hour. Here, I can hold it for you. I can hold the light. Oh. Oh, cool.
cool. It's a little lantern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Wow. What is that I think it's a little too cold. Wow. Every day they change. They close in a different direction. Okay. Now we can have lights up. Good night. Good night. Good night. This was a entire day. This was a day in the life of Puyvi Doll. But it's been an honor and a privilege to share this day with all of you. And I hope we can do it again sometime soon. And I think everything went pretty fantastically well, didn't it? I think so. I mean, I I know so. Definitely. Our, our lovely coffee apero tour with Corinne and Manu was really lovely. Our trench is fantastic and actually almost complete. They're just going to come back in the morning and finish it up and it'll be done. And then at the end of the day, we got a surprise that Orange is going to come early and they're going to come tomorrow morning instead of Monday and actually maybe help us run the fiber cable. So we might have fiber tomorrow. Wish us luck. Thanks for watching. A bientôt.